So we were talking yesterday uh, about the Honda CRZ um, charger to help charge the uh, IMA battery and recover the IMA battery and also using the light bulb in the process. So that's the two um, LED drivers there and the charger. And you see this one's got the crocodile clip connections. But what we really want to do is we want to add really a permanent connection onto the battery so that we don't have to take it all to bits again uh, next time. So what I'm going to show you now is a few things. Um, so you can see we have some connectors like this. Um, so these are like Bulgin connectors. Now whatever you use it's got to be rated for at least 150 volts because that's about the maximum of our CRZ NIMH battery. Uh, preferably slightly higher if you can get something. And basically all you need to do is you need to put uh, some connectors on the end of it. Now uh, not a spade light on this one, this is for an insight. But you'll put two suitable um, uh, terminal connectors like this on it. One will be a 6mm connector, that will be the negative if I'm not mistaken. And the other one will be a, like a 4mm connector and that will be for the positive. And basically you'll just screw those on to where you would normally clip the uh, crocodile clips. So once you've made that connection then obviously you have then a permanent access to that and then you then obviously you need to cut a hole in your case or take this wire out some way um, where you can route it out without having to cut a hole in the case and then you can have this connector somewhere handy and you can plug in just make sure you know which is plus and which is minus now i don't like this particular connector because it's got the pins they are recessed but you know they are slightly um accessible okay so you've got different versions of these Bulgin connectors. This is another one. This is um, a similar sort of thing set up. You can just get your finger in there. So I don't really like that one either. That one's better. You can see the connector here. Because obviously when you plug in also you want this part of the connector also to be um, safe. Um, so that's not too bad. So whatever you need it just needs to be safe so you can't poke your fingers in there. Because once you turn the main switch on then these pins will be powered. Um, or, or what I use is I use these connectors so now this is the four pin variant you can get a two pin and you can get five or six pin i think two three four you only need two pin for the crz because the fan is driven in a different way obviously we just stick the fan over the outlet uh, for the IMA venting system. Um, so all we need is two pins to get the power into the uh, battery. So these are very good. They've got like a compression fitting here. So these all come to pieces. And uh, so this is the uh, part that would plug into the car. Okay, so this is the bit that would come from your uh, LED uh, power supplies. Just to, so you can just take this to pieces. I'll just take this one to pieces if we can. So basically you get this inside it. So basically you need to just make a two pin version of this. Um, do some decent connections here and make sure you use heat sink on them to make sure there's no danger of any short circuits. These are also IP rated, not that that matters because this is going to be inside the car. Uh, so you can see they've got a little rubber gasket as well. So the other end of it, which is the important end, as far as we're concerned, this is the bit that's going to be in the car. Again, make sure you do some decent connections on the back of this. And obviously this one's got four wires, but you only need two. But the nice thing about this one, it's got this nice little cover and the pins are not accessible at all. They're very small. The currents involved are very low, so they don't need to have massive current carrying capability. And these have got the right voltage rating. So you can see that when it's not in use, you can screw this nice, nice little cover over it and away you go. So that's what I would recommend you do when you take your trim out, etc. and get access to your IMA battery for the first time to do a sort of reconditioning process. I recommend that you install some sort of harness like this um, use an outer covering on this wire. This is internally mounted on the inside, so this is why it's like this. So uh, use a decent four core, uh, two core wire, uh, heat shrink all this so it's all protected. And you can have this just on a flying lead if you want, sitting in the back uh, under the uh, carpet somewhere, just down the side of the IMA battery. And then when you want to plug in, you just uh, flip, up, flip back the carpet and you plug in your little uh, keyed. So these are keyed, these can only go on one way. Uh, now I'm not sure whether this is the right one for this particular. Um, connector it may not be um, I've got different connectors kicking around so anyway these are keyed so it can only go in one direction all you've got to be careful about is make sure you get the positive going to the positive and the negative going to the negative and again you'll just need two connectors you need the six mil diameter hole for the negative and you'll need a four mil I think diameter hole for the positive and make sure you do those connections up nice and tight 
and away you go. So that's what I recommend you do when you first get access to the IMA battery. You put yourself a little connector in uh, so that you can uh, much easy, uh, easier access it next time. You don't have to take all the cover off and all the other messing around. Just do it once and then it's done. So good luck with the uh, charging and cycling.